Arby's in Colorado. How can I help you? Oh, my God. Are you the manager? Yeah, speaking. Okay. Um, I'm just, I'm the new manager over here on Hampton up, up the way um, at the yeah. Arby's. I'm the Arby's manager. Man, I'm in over my head. I don't know what the hell's going on over here. Um, do you know what to do if I run out of the sauce packets? Everyone's getting mad at me. I don't know where the sauce packets are. You need, what, Arby's and horsey I, sauce? Uh, yeah, man. Like, my employees, are, are they know that it's, like, my first day at manager, and, and, like, they're giving me a hard time. I think they hid the packets or something. Okay. Uh, I don't know what to um, do, man. I'm freaking out. Okay. I'm supposed no, to be the okay, manager, breathe. and I, I, I feel breathe. like I've lost control. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay. Me, wh- breathe. It's okay. okay. Let's get you breathing first, okay. Okay? okay? What's your name? My name is Jake. Um, at what point? Jake, okay. what, at what point am I allowed to like hit them? Like if because they won't Never. listen to me. They won't listen to me. <laughs> Never. Um, okay. Well, is Iris still down there? No. She's already left. Yeah. Then then they started okay. acting up, and I think I should hit one of them. No, no, you never. Well, you don't want to go to like jail. Like not today. hard or anything. <laughs> like just like what if I like kick them, like kick at them or something, no. <laughs> just to show them that they got to quit screwing around because they're not listening. They're not yeah. listening to me. No, I got you. I, I've I've managed down there for about six months, so I I know the the crew there. So. Okay. All right. So this is your first night by yourself. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. They, well, I think um, they hid the sauce, and the customers are getting mad. There's no sauce okay. anywhere, and I don't know okay. what to do. I don't know where they keep it, and I don't know where they hid it. It's in, it's in dry storage. It should be back in it's dry not, storage. It's not, though. It's not there. It's okay. gone. I, they took it out. They hid it or something. I think it's in one okay. of their cars. Am I allowed to go search through their cars? No, no. no you're not allowed to do I'm that. I'm going to have okay. to. <sighs> okay. Um, hold on. Let me just – hold on. Hold on. What if I use like a, Iris is, what if Iris I, is on what, her way here okay. to pick up um, supplies that You're you need. To so I can just back, give, yeah. her, give her more sauce. I'll, I don't know if they threw it out or they hit it, but give her some sauce. No, no, I'll give her a case of, of each of the sauces for okay. you, okay? So she's good, she's on her way here to pick up that chicken salad <sighs> stuff. So I'll get her that supplies. Oh, yeah, we're out of that, too. Her. We're out of that, too, but I think that's legit. Yeah. I know we're out of that. I think my fucking yeah, employees hit the goddamn sauce. Can I hit them with a broomstick if I poke them with a stick or something? Okay, calm down. Your truck got delayed okay so you may be out of this stuff because no, the they're fucking supposed with me to they're fucking with morning. me uh, can i throw water or soda at one of them okay i, I really want to make an example i want to make an example no. out of you want to go to jail dude like no you can't do that calm down okay I'm you, freaking you're out. not being I'm productive freaking right I'm now freaking out. i can I'm hear that out. i get that that's fine uh, like I said, Iris is on her way here. I will send her back there with the, the Arby's and Horsey and stuff. Just apologize to customers and let them know that the truck was delayed. You're waiting on somebody to pick up um, supplies, okay? And I'm going to find the lead troublemaker. I'm going to lock him in the, in the supply room. I didn't hear that. Okay, I, I'll give you a call back at the store in just a couple minutes, okay? All right, I, yeah, I need it. Thank you. All right. Okay, bye. Thank you for calling in, Safeway. How may I direct your call? Oh, boy. Listen, um, I was down there about maybe a half hour, 45 minutes ago. I'm the guy who got punched by the employee out in the parking lot. Uh, you got punched by an employee? Well, that's the thing. It happened so slowly, I almost didn't notice at all. Um, it wasn't until well after I had gotten home and I had a chance to just like get all my things in order that I realized that it had happened. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, do you remember which employee? Like I said, it was also slow. It was, well, I had definitely, he was out there um, getting, doing a, like one grocery cart. So I don't know, I don't know what he was doing. If he was just helping an old lady or if he's out there um, picking up trash or something. But I made a comment that, you know, he looked like the, and I used the F, the F slur, like for the sexuality one. I, I, but I actually said it to him. I called him that. And he got pretty mad. And like I said, it was just all so slow. It was like it was in slow motion. I didn't even realize that he was punching me until well after I got home. Oh, wow. Um, okay, let me see if uh, the store director is still here. Um, if not, then you'd have to call tomorrow morning because I'm one of the managers, but he's a um, store manager, so he would have more authority over it. Like, you know, when they're doing the football replays? Uh huh, yeah. That's how slow it was. Huh. But yeah, he punched me. He punched me what? square in the jaw, it turns out. What? Uh, that's crazy. Um, okay, let me talk to my other manager and see what we can do about it. But would you, I didn't even, like I said, I didn't even realize he'd hit me until after I got home. Would you just apologize? Because I shouldn't have called him, like, I shouldn't be saying that to people, you know? It was funny in the 90s, but, you know, it's not really, that's not a nice thing to be saying to people. 
Yeah. I feel like I deserved it. I feel like I deserved it. And I want to say I'm sorry to him. Oh, okay. Uh, Yeah, I just don't know who it was. I wasn't by the door or anything, so I I wasn't even aware that something like that happened. Well, you might not have even noticed because it was so damn slow. Yeah. Um, Okay, well, if if it's only an apology that you want, I can try seeing who it was and tell them that you apologized. Can I pay him restitution? What's that? Like, I want, well, I think I should throw him a few dollars. Once I get back from the hospital and everything and get my lips stitched up, however many dollars it was at the hospital, I feel like I should pay him that amount out of my own pocket. Oh, man. Um, uh, I don't know. That's all up to you, sir. But, yeah, I really don't know. It's, that's the first case I hear. So I don't well, know what I, it would be up to you and that um, okay. to the employee I'd, or... Once I'm out of once I'm out of the surgery and because they said I'm going in tomorrow and they're going to do some like reconstructive on the lip because it's it's like busted all up and they're going to have to do stitches and stuff on it. Um, once all that's done though, is it okay if I come in there? Can I give him cash like right on the job? He won't get in trouble. Um, honestly, you would have to. It's probably yeah. going to be in the ballpark when all's said and done, like with the hospital bill. And like I said, I think that that would be a fair restitution to pay him for having used that word at him. Um, would be whatever my hospital bills were. Uh, it's probably gonna be right in the neighborhood of like two, three thousand dollars. So that'd be a nice stack of cash that I'd be handing him at work. That's why I'm asking. Yeah. Um. I mean, maybe if that employee takes his uh, takes their lunch or a break at that time, then yeah, that'd be fine. Okay. But... So slip him a couple thousand while he's on his break. I got it. Yeah. All right. Okay. And tell him I'm sorry. Seriously, I shouldn't. It's not funny. It's not like I said back in the '90s. You know, you joke around. Uh, it's not. It's not like that anymore. Yeah. Um. What were the, What was your name, sir? My name. Uh huh. Okay. Well, it's not a common. It's it's like a different spelling. Do you have a pen and paper? Yes. Okay. The first letter of my last name is S. Uh huh. The second letter of my first name is E. Okay. The sixth letter of my last name is also an E, and so is the second. And then the fourth letter of my last name is an N, and the eighth letter is a D. Third letter is an I. The fifth is an F, and the seventh is an L. Okay, give me one. Can you repeat that one more time, sir? Okay, the second letter of my last name is an E. Or just just like your full name completely. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. The second letter of my last name is an E, and so it's the second letter of my first name and the sixth letter of my last name. And then the fourth letter of my last name is an N. The eighth is a D. The seventh is an L. Um, fifth is an F. The third is an oh. I, and the fourth is an N, and that's all of them. Okay. And my first name is Jerry. Jerry. Okay. All right. Well, I'll let him know. Um, it, that's if I can figure it out. If not, then yeah. It's a little puzzle. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit of a puzzle. Yeah. All right. Well, um, yeah, I can tell him. Yeah, I guess we'll just wait and see what goes on. Um, Like I said, it's never happened before, so I'm not sure if they'd be okay with this, what really went on. Um, Well, I guess someone had caught it or or someone had called it in or something. Like I said, I didn't notice at the time, not until later. But I guess one one of the people in the parking lot called it in or something because the police showed up at my house and I told them I didn't want to press charges. But they said, you know, it might be the state versus the employee because of the severity of the whole beating. Yeah. But I don't know nothing about that. I'm not pressing charges myself, though. You know, I'd say let bygones be bygones. And, I, you know, it was pretty much it was my fault. Oh, man. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we – well, I don't even know where to start. Um, yeah, if I find that employee, the one that did that to you, then mm-hmm. I'll let him know what you and I have talked about. Yeah. Tell them, the, um, tell them that the eye socket, though, they probably aren't going to be able to repair my eye socket. Like, that's probably going to be permanent damage. Tell them that. But your eye, so- eye socket, pa- permanent, what happened? Uh, permanent. Well, where he hit my eye socket, that's going to be permanent damage. I might lose vision in my left eye. 
Oh, man. But I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I deserved it. It's okay. And I'm going to give him $2,000. And the, oh, the second okay. letter of my last name is an E, and so is the second letter of my first name and the sixth letter of my last name. Okay, hold on. Do you want to spell that Nima just, just letter by letter from the beginning? Oh, you mean like E2, E7, like that? L or E6, L7, N4, D8, like that? Yeah. So your the first letter of your name and then the second. Well, the, the second third. letter of my last name is an E. I can tell you that much. Okay. And the first letter of your last name? Well, I gave you all of them many times. Do you want a hint? Would that help maybe? Um, I just appreciate if you don't just like randomly give me the letters of your last name. Well, last time I checked, I still had all my rights as an American. So, I mean, you know, when the flag flies and the eagle's raised, I don't need you telling me how to tell you my personal information. This is America, okay? <laughs> okay, sir. All right. Thank well, you. then I'll just leave it. Figure I'll it out. It's a, put the numbers down, mix them up in a, and put them back, and then go in the right sure, order. Because and I have time for that, right? Well, because I told you I three time times if you would have just written okay. them down. <laughs> okay, sir. The second letter what is that? a E. The sixth letter is a E. The eighth letter is a D. I don't know what else to tell you. I keep telling you the same thing. If you just write it down, you decode the answer. Okay. Why are you laughing at me? I'm not. I'm just saying okay. You're dirty. No, you're laughing at me. You're dirty. Stop laughing at me. You're dirty. No one. That's is a dirty laughing. thing to. It's a dirty thing to do to laugh at a customer. That's a really dirty thing to do. That's rotten of you. Oh my god. Don't be so rotten like that. Oh, first of all, I'm not. Um, I heard you laughing. I heard you snickering. I heard you making jokes about me under your breath, saying, "Oh God, this man! Oh my Lord! Oh this man okay, here!" Because I, I heard you. I heard I you. Can't say it. Yeah, I have the iPhone. I can hear it okay. all. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, good for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're sassafras and good for nothing. <laughs> all right. Well, have a. See, good there night. you go. You're giggling again. This is piss poor customer service. Sir, I, I can do and laugh Piss and giggle poor. whatever. Piss poor. Piss poor. Greetings from the Walls of Badlands. You have reached the Wall Drugstore in Western South Dakota. Well, if you know the extension you would like to reach, please dial it now. If you need a media assistance, press zero now. If you'd like to leave a message in the general mailbox, please hold while your call is being transferred to... This is the Wall Drugstore. Well... Wild Drug, this is Linda. How can I help you? Hi, yeah. Uh, how do I give you guys, like, more permission? Like, how, I, is this, like, a manager thing? If I got to ask, um, you know, like, it, it, I just want you guys to know it's okay, like, to do certain things. Like, when I bring the family in there, like, how do I, how do I do that? I, I don't know what you're asking me. How do you, uh, more permission for what? No, like, I'm going to let you guys do more. Like, because of the kids, like, the kids, they're a real handful. And sometimes you got to, you know, you got to lay down the law. And I just want, like, how do I make sure that you guys lay down the law? Uh, just a second. The, like, you know, you can, like, for, like, smacking them? No, we don't do that. No, no, You're I'm giving you permission. No, we don't do that. No, no. If I want, like, I want you to to smack, no, to slap no. them around a little bit. I want to, nope. keep, I want to keep them in line. Okay, I gotta go. Otherwise, they they might can, they might misbehave. I can I don't transfer. Want, I'm just giving you. You don't you don't have to. I can to. transfer like, they're being you good. to the manager. No, okay? no, no. Just just listen. Just a minute. You can just no. Just if. Thank you for your call. Please hold while we connect you to the next available attendant. Cactus? Yeah. Um, I had a question. When okay. I come down there, at I, I, I want to word this carefully, but I do. At what point, when I'm dealing with your staff, at what point am I allowed to get like hands on or physical? What? If they're giving me lip or something, or they're getting out of pocket. Who is this? My name is Brad. 
Okay, and what's your what what are you asking? It's like cactus. What about it? That you, this is cactus, right? Yeah. Just when I'm allowed to go physical and hands on with them, if they're giving me lip or, or getting out of pocket like that. Who who are you, Brad? What do you mean? What are you talking about? A customer. I'm a customer. If I'm having bad a bad time or or a bad service or something, and I I gotta I gotta do something about it. When is that allowed and appropriate? You're not in my building. Uh, no, no, talking. not not right now. No, I'm calling ahead. I'm very irresponsible like that. I'm calling ahead. Okay. I want to know the limits and when it's okay to that, like closed fist, open fist, like that. Like when it's appropriate. Uh, sir, I don't have time to waste with your. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about with your questions. For physical, That's the most physical. weird, inappropriate question I've well, ever heard. I know it would be more inappropriate if I came down there and just went hands on immediately. That would that would be that'd be no good. And I learned that at the what McDonald's. Is, what, what, what is your problem? I said Do you have if a I problem came... with the cactus or the staff or something or cactus? No. No, no, I love the cactus. It's the staff sometimes. It's just they're starting, you know, they're starting up with a little bit of attitude, I've noticed, like around the edges kind of. And I'm just, I got fear that they're going to start to get out of pocket. And I just, you know, I know the only way to stop that is to hit What is out of pocket? Just acting up, you know, acting, acting up. Inappropriate. Yeah, bro, I don't know who you are or whatever, but yeah, just, yeah, I, I don't know what you're talking about. So I, I got to go. I got to work. Okay, I won't hit him then. I won't do it. Corner Pantry, this is Jody. Jody, um, I was wondering if I can't, when I come down, you know, uh, if I could get somebody, like, mad enough to, like, take a swing at me, am I allowed to swing back? Or do you guys, like, how does that work at this location? Who is this? Oh, Roy. Oh. Nobody that works here is going to take a swing at any customers. And, oh, well, I mean, if I said some, like, really nasty things, though, or something, you know? Like, if I what? said something, like, egg them out. Like, if I get them to take a swing at me, I just want to know if I can swing back. Like, like you know, because, you know, I, I didn't do it first. Why would you provoke somebody? Oh, no, so they, they would take a swing at me. Uh, not in my store. <clears throat> No, no, that's why I would provoke them. So, like, if I provoke them, then they would take a swing at me. That's why I would... They're just answering your question. I don't even understand what you're asking me. If you can explain this to me again. If I can, you know, like, like uh, hands-on physical, if they, like, you know, try, if they try to get hands-on physical with me. Would I Is that, would I like, approve allow, of that? Like, well, I mean, because they started, you know, if I just get them, I just get them riled up, you know, with words, and then they'll, then, like, I'm trying to get them to make the first move. That way, you know, then I, I'm not as, 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 you know, I'm not as in much trouble. Do you uh, see? I don't, like, yeah, you're not going to do that in my store. What do you mean? I, I, I didn't, I didn't fight, you know, like, I didn't take the first swing. Like, I was just wondering if I could swing back. I mean, I don't have to. You know, you could say no, and then I could still get them to try to hit me, but then I would just leave. Um, if you're going to try to start a fight in my store... Not really a, a fight. That's a, that's a no. Because I, cause, okay, so no. And I, see, I can get them to try... I, I can try to get them to hit me, and I just won't... I, 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 won't, I won't hit back. No. I'll just have to leave. Why don't you just not do it in my store if you feel the need oh, no, to do that? no. If I could try to provoke them, though, like in order to hit me, no, I just, not I'm in trying my to store. get, I'm trying to, oh no, I'm just trying to provoke them. I'm not trying to start a fight. You're making zero sense. So, oh no, to hit, to hit me, like you know, like with a, you know, like a closed fist or maybe an open, like a slap. Um, you do what you want in your own time to keep it out of my store. No, I'm taking my own time. Oh, that doesn't make you're not making any sense now. Hey, I had a question for you. The manager or something? Uh-huh. Okay. Um, when, I'm, when I'm coming down there, well, sometimes your staff gets a little bit uppity with me and shit, and I'm not really a fan of that. Um, I'm wondering, like, what's the threshold for when I can go physical hands-on? For what? For when go, going hands-on with your staff. 
why? What was the problem? Well, they're starting to get out of pocket on me, and I don't, I don't want that. I don't want to foster Who that kind this? of an environment. My name is Brett. What, like, what do you mean? What, why do you need my name? Well, I'm not placing. I'm not placing an order. An issue. Well, no, I'm going to handle it. That's what I'm saying. At what point can I handle it? Do I, I got Do I have to provoke physically? them? Yeah, yeah, physically, like to go hands on physically. Um, never. Well, what if I provoke them to take in the first swing? I could defend myself, couldn't I? Like an uppercut or something? Why are you asking this? Cool, because I'm not trying to break the law or the rules or nothing. I'm trying to I'm trying to do it right. Um, I would say it's never okay to provoke someone to, to well, be able not, to punch them. It's, I don't think it's going to take too much. They're almost there. Their attitude. It's 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 taking Who, their nose Do you have a problem with a certain person? All over, or everyone. No, not anyone in particular. Just just in general. It's the whole so attitude. So you just call places randomly and ask them if you can cause trouble with the staff there? I'm not trying to cause trouble. I just want to then go physical. Then why are you calling? Because if I just came down there and hit one of your staff members, we, we, like we actually and don't need you to come down here if you want to just come down here and hit somebody. Well, I'm asking first. If I just did it without permission, no, that would be assault and battery. First. Yes, you can. You're not you have welcome to. here, actually. Okay, this is why I'm asking. Okay, then. So I, I'll are only we done? come there. Well, I'll only come there when I'm hungry and not when I'm ready to fight or nothing. Well, yeah, it'd probably be a good choice on your oh. part. Okay, and then if it's both, you know, I'll try and restrain myself the best we don't, I can. We really don't need your business if you're coming no, okay. here to cause it's, trouble. It's all right. That's no, I, that simple. To, what if I'm there to eat and Who cause is trouble? This? My name is Brad. Brad what? Warner. So did you have a problem with a certain person in here? It's all of you. It's the whole thing. It's the atmosphere. It's the whole place that you yeah, have a problem with? Then are, don't are come you, here. Are you a new manager or something? Is there because there's a different vibe? It doesn't there. matter if I'm new or not. It does. Any matter. manager would tell you the same thing. Well, you're not doing good. You're losing control of the staff down there. <laughs> I'm losing control. You're the one who called to ask if you could hit one of our help. Well, they need it. No, they don't need you, it. You don't have it don't under control. Don't come here you then. Need... If you have that much of a problem with us. No, you just need someone to get them in line. I'm just. I... Oh, Dairy Queen. Hey, yeah, listen, um, at what point am I, like, allowed to, like, uh, uh, like, um, offer some kind of, like, a physical, like, response, like, or, like, can I provoke one instead, like, a physical response to, like, a, like, an order being made? Um, one second. What, no, what are you going? This is Mike. Mike? Yes. Oh, hey, Mike. Uh, at what point um, am I allowed to, like, I don't, I don't know, like, provoke or induce some kind of, like, physical response? Like, as I far guess. as, like, a, a, like, an order being made. Oh, like a, like a call-in order, you mean? Yeah. A call-in um, well, or... Or I can order there, or, you know, a call-in, or an order at the counter, or wherever. Just, you know, any any type of order. Yeah, you can you can either do that over the phone, or you can do it at the counter. Our, our lobby is open, or we also have a drive through as well. I know, but, like, what, like how like, am I able to, like, do it in such a way that it would provoke, like, the employee to kind of, like, get physical with me? No. Not in any way. No. Nope. Like even like no, I mean you know I'm not saying like like, like a violent thing or anything. I'm just saying like, like maybe maybe I say something like nasty and they will just want to take you know just like a, maybe an open hand slap to the face. No. Nope. They they wouldn't no. have a job if if that happened. No, I mean, what if, like, what if I gave him permission to, though? Like, I want... No, this, I would, we still I wouldn't to, allow that. I, no, I need to evoke some kind of, a, like, a physical response, like a, you know, like a reaction. Sure, then I'm guessing you'd probably need to call another, a different establishment. To... Oh, no, I just kind of order very rudely sometimes, and, like, I, I, I need to know, like, it's, it should, it's a good thing, you know? Right, but I mean, if you if you place an order like that, we're probably going to refuse you service. Why? Why? 
because yeah, we don't offer that kind of service here. Oh no, I'm calling ahead of time though. I, can, sure. I don't understand what the problem is. Well, I guarantee you. Have you have you ever received that service at any other Dairy Queen? Sure. That's why I call ahead. <laughs> well, tell you what. That's you call I them and you tell them to call me and and tell me of the situation and we'll see what oh, goes no, on I from mean, there. Just, I just tell them that like, they can do the open-handed slap if I get a little, you know, a little mouthy. Nope, won't happen. No, I, I give you permission. I understand that, and yet, but I yeah. we still have, we still reserve the right to not do it. Just because you give us no. permission doesn't mean that we we're going to do what you ask. Does that make sense? Oh no, I'm not like I'm not asking. I mean, I'm just telling you that you should definitely hit me if I get mouthy. <laughs> well, there's lots of people that that would probably be willing to do that for you. It's not something that we oh, offer here. Good. Um, I mean, I could get could, I could bring somebody. Is that going to be a problem? <laughs> you can I do could whatever find you like. Somebody in a, well, it's, what about one of the employees that are not on the clock? I had to hire them for a little bit. Nope. Still wouldn't work. No. Why? No, just you. I could order from you, and you could kind of slap me up a little bit. You know, just keep me in line. <laughs> nope. I would not be willing to do that. What? What? What would you be willing to do? Uh, place an order or take an order just like any other customer that comes through my door. You tell I mean, me what physically. you would like. No. What would you be would... willing to do physically? Absolutely nothing. Just, I mean, just a punch, just for like a punch. One punch, like just one. Just one no. good one. Right to no. the gut. What? No. Uh, uh, how about a slap? Just a slap. Nothing. 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 You'd Why? be treated just like every other customer that walks through my door. Well, I mean, what a, well, I mean, you know. I bet you like could go to a I bar ran, maybe and they would probably do it, but. I could, what if I just ran into your hand like really hard? I, you're not going to be able to do that. We're on a, uh, a different level and there's a counter between us. I'll dive. I'll dive really, like I'll, I'll be fast. You won't see me coming. Sure. I'll die for I don't, it. I don't. I don't know what to tell you. We can't. We well, can't help you. Just, just tell me no and just slap me around a little bit. No. <laughs> Not gonna if work. If I come in, and, yeah. If I come in causing problems, just kind of slap me up a little bit and throw me out. <laughs> no. Just you bring somebody with bad, you to bad, do bad. that. No. Like if I'm causing problems, just slap me up and just, just slap me around a bit and just throw me out. I get out of here. No, I wouldn't do that's, that. That's what you have to... Why? I'm asking you, it has to keep your store nice. I, I have to like, keep... This isn't... Keep, I have yeah, to keep my store? Be, you can't keep it nice. You can't be letting people like me in there, like, causing all kinds of problems. I never have had anybody that, that I've had to do that. I've had to ask people to leave, Just, but I've never had to get physical with anyone. Oh, no, go ahead, get physical. I'm telling you, you should get physical. Just tell... Tell me this, hey, get out of here, bad, 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 slap me up, and then throw me out. I apologize, I can't do that. And I am actually kind of busy right now, um, cooking, so. Um, permission, permission granted. Hit me at the spatula. <laughs> no, you have a good day. Call me bad. Call me bad right now. Subway, this is Jody. Jody, are you the manager? Yes, I am the manager. Can you speak up? You're quiet as a mouse. Excuse me? I said you're quiet as a mouse. I can't hardly hear you. Oh, sorry. Well, I'm wondering, see, there's this attitude that I was calling to deal with today. There seems to be, you're near the manager, so that could be like a tone at the top kind of a problem that we have here. But there's a stubbornness and a, and a general attitude coming from the staff down there. It doesn't matter what time or what day I'm in. Okay. I'm thinking and that. Well, I've you know I've talked to. You're not the only manager there. I talked to someone else. No, Doreen um, is the manager yeah. and the owner. Okay. Well, I talked to Doreen and nothing was done. And I'm just wondering, what at what point am I allowed to go like hands on and get physical down there? No, you just called me. I said that it, that's not going to happen in here. What? You're not going to get physical with anyone in my store. What what exactly is the problem? Okay, well, I'm on a lot of drugs. I didn't just call you. 
Okay. Somebody called the convenience store saying the same thing. Well, does that a different phone number? It is. And then I then I don't know I don't know how to help you. Okay, how can I help you? I would like to come down there and get a little bit physical. With who? Whoever it is. Why? Because it's it's deserved. It's uh. time. It's time and it's deserved. I don't want to say like Batman, you know, but someone someone's gotta someone's gotta do something. I'm new in town here. And just all over the place. Just everyone just is a real shithead. Everyone's a real Muppet. And someone needs to go around and someone needs to put things right. But only with permission. Well, I'm not going to give you permission to cause violence in my uh, place of business. That's why I'm calling all around town and I'm asking everywhere. Who is this? I, how, I mean, I don't, under, I don't understand. Who, who am I speaking with? You can call me good citizen. I always follow the law. And I, I've looked it up in the code. And mutual combat is, in fact, completely lawful. So as long as you guys are agreeing to to get physical and everything, then I'm on the up and up. And I can go all Batman style without breaking the law. Do you see what I'm saying? I am not giving you any kind of permission to create any kind of chaos or violence in my, in my businesses. And then I shan't. That's why I'm calling everywhere to check. I'm sure eventually someone is going to say yes, and then I can go down there and bust some heads and, and take some names and everything, but on the up and up, on the legal. I'd never break the law. You know, that's, and that would be. What are you trying to accomplish during that? Just to get, because word will get out, and then all of you guys, because the attitudes, it's the attitudes at all the different stores and everywhere. It's just like, you guys don't have time for me, or you don't like me because I'm not from around here or something, or I don't know what it is. But someone needs to snap you guys out of it, and I figure if I can just get permission to do just one beat down, you know, it's it's word will spread around. I won't I won't have to go crazy or nothing. And I like I said, only on the legal. I don't would never break the law. I would never assault anyone. Just mutual legal combat. So you feel you you've got bad service here? Just all around, all around town. I don't like nobody. You guys suck. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. We, you know, you don't have to stay. I guess. Well, I, I do, because I live here now. Okay. I'm not a big fan of it. And you guys smell weird, and the water tastes funny. Yeah. Maybe. Well, you know, it is what it is, but I'll, I'll get you guys in line. I'll get you in line. Yeah, well, don't. Don't put when me I find, on when... any line or any list, because you're not going to... No, 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 no. It's not like you're that. Not no, I'm asking. In... Uh, you're on the list. I'm putting you on a list of people that I, I won't do anything to, because you don't want me to. All right, okay. So far, I have three lists. I have a list of people I haven't talked to yet. Um, and then so far, I've made a list of people who don't want me to come down there and cause trouble. And then I do have a page for a third list of people who will allow me to, but that's so far is blank. There's no one's letting me so far. Okay. Everyone, everyone. I've checked with, everyone I've checked with has said no, thank you, please. Kind of like how you did, but not quite like as bitchy, like a little less bitchiness. <laughs> I understand if you if you're if like you're this little you know podunk operator in charge of all the different telephones for subways and stores and everything, I get it. I, I understand. Um, um, no, I am the owner of the subway and the mm -hmm. corner pantry convenience store. They're in the same building. We oh, have two okay. different phone lines coming into the same phone. Okay. See, I have this thing. I don't know if you guys got it out here, but it's called Google, and I was using that to look it up and to call all the different places, and I didn't realize it was in the same spot. I've never even been there. I'm just assuming that the service is shitty. So you've never even been here? No, but everywhere else is sucks, so I don't know why you guys wouldn't as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to hang up on you again. So okay, that's fine. Stay I out didn't... of my store. Well, no, if you have a third number, I'll probably call that. But, you know, other than that, yeah, I won't, I won't talk to you anymore. I'm sorry. Okay, thanks. Bye. All right, I love you. Bye. Good evening, Breadroot. This is Jen. How may I help you? Hi, Jen. Listen, I'm making up a couple of lists for my records. Um, one list is a list that I'm, uh, places that I am not allowed to cause trouble at, and the other list is a list of places I am allowed to cause trouble at. Uh -huh. What uh, uh, Am I allowed to come down there and uh, start some trouble? Uh, depends on the kind of trouble. I mean, um, hands-on? Any, anything hands-on? Uh, I'd rather you didn't. I'd rather you didn't verbal? cause trouble. No, how about some not trouble at all? We're, we're busy well, enough asked, as it is. Well, you asked what kind. I mean, I'm just trying to... Oh. Uh. Hello? 
Hello? Hello? Is this the nut place? You? Is this the nuts place? Uh, yes, this is She's Nuts. Okay, well, that's a very... Okay, okay, you're in character when you answer the phone, then. Is that it? I'm just no. trying to figure out... I was trying to call a business, and you answer the phone like a crazy lady. I understand it's called She's Nuts. That might be... That's what I'm saying. Are you playing a character? You've got the crazy... No, excuse everything's me. Going, this... Everything's going nuts in the background am... with the kids. Everything's all crazy and nuts down there. Is that what it is? Yes, because I am a mom who is a business owner who I'm the only employee. So you called my cell phone. It's 8 okay. o'clock at night. Okay. What do you need? Well, I was wondering, do you have other employees or is it just you? No, it's just me. Well, that's not going to work because I was hoping – I'm calling around. I'm trying to find some different – I'm making a few lists of – can you tell that kid to shut up, please? Can I'm you to ta- I'm trying to talk not to you. call me and insult me? What? Listen. No, I'm not kidding you. I'm very serious. It's it's real distracting and annoying. That fucking kid. Can you go in the other room or something? If you don't want to put the kid away, can you go in the other room? No, I cannot. Okay. All right. Listen, I am a I'm, mom. Okay. All right. Well, listen. Then. I'm making a couple of lists. I'm just I'm just was hoping that maybe one of your employees would want to get like physical with me or go hands on or something. If I come down there and start trouble, and I want to give them permission so that there wouldn't be any crimes. But if you're the only employee, I'm not going to fight you. I'm not crazy. What do you want to fight me about? No, I don't want to fight you. That's the whole thing. I was hoping you had some employees, like maybe a, a, a man or something. Or, or I, you know, any if a woman wanted to punch me, that'd be fine. I wouldn't mind. But I just wanted to give you guys, like, actual... I have a form here, and I was going to sign it up for you guys so that, that there wouldn't be any pressing of charges or nothing. Just to give I, you... I'm, I'm afraid that you have got the wrong idea about this company so i'm gonna go ahead and hang up you have a blessed day put your kids away armadillos this is morgan morgan listen uh am i allowed to like accidentally drop my ice cream on like you know you know what i'm saying did you drop your ice cream no like i no, I'm, I, oh i look i'm i'm trying to you know I'm gonna get somebody in in there, and I'm gonna I'm gonna basically throw my ice cream at them, hmm. like right. At, and I'm I'm really hoping that like they get physical with me. Now, are you trying to start an it, ice cream fight? Well, I mean, not just like a regular fight, but just it's gonna start <laughs> with the ice cream. Hmm. I just think it's the best way to do it because they're wearing like a really nice. Like, you know, with the clothing. Oh, you you want to ruin their clothes as well? well that's the idea. Huh. Like it would hurt, it, I mean, ice cream is pretty messy. If that's really your goal, um, if you start a fight, we might have to call dispatch, though. Just letting you know. I don't, just just throw us out. Just rough us up. And, you, I, I'm giving you guys full permission. You could just like be. You could beat on us. I don't care. It's gonna be worth it in my eyes. Hmm. Like you can you can kick us out. You just kick us out. Just beat us up. Here. Kick us out. I I can let you talk to my manager if you want. Am I not? I I don't understand. You just said you just said it was fine, and but now it's not. Well, I I guess I don't really have control over your actions, but we could definitely serve you an ice cream cone, and then you could throw it at someone, start a fight, and then we can call dispatch. I mean, you can, but I mean, like, you could just throw us out. I mean, I'm just, you know, I'm mm-hmm. just saying. Um, I think you'll have to talk to a manager on that one. Why? I don't really have authority to <laughs> tell you what we're going to do. I think, no, I um, mean, like, you could get, like, I'm just, I'm just giving you permission to get physical with us. Hmm, okay. Thank you for the permission, I guess. I mean, yeah, you just you can take a swing. It's fine. Okay. Well, um, is there anything else I can help you with? No, I just that's it. Okay. Have a nice day. What, oh, you too. All right. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you for calling the historic hotel, Alex Johnson. Located. You are being transferred to front desk. We're so. Thank you for calling the store, Alex Johnson. This is Crystal. How may I help you? Is this the front desk or what's going on? Yes, this is the 
Yes, this is the front desk at the Hotel Alex Johnson. Oh, okay, listen, I'm not a guest here. I'm just um, I, I'm from an ad on Craigslist to do some dog sitting. And I don't know what the fuck's going on here. I've been here for about an hour and a half, and I, I think – I was in the bathroom for a little bit, and I heard some noise out here. I don't know if the cleaning lady was in here or what, but I'm pretty sure that this dog is drunk now. Okay, I and that's don't not going to be that's not going to be good when the owner gets back. I I can't have a drunk dog in here. What what? Wait. Sir, I don't even know where you're at. I don't know what you're even talking about. Okay. So I'm up in the room, I'm doing a little dog sitting for some side hustle up on the Craigslist ad, okay? I responded okay. to the ad. They said, come to my room down here. Watch my dog for me. I got to go handle something. Don't ask questions. Just watch the dog. I'm in the bathroom. I hear a, com- a commotion. There's a there's a, a little a sound is going on. I hear it, but I'm on, I'm on the crapper. I can't do nothing. I just heard it. And then I come out, and everything seems to be in order. But the dog now, he's he's slurring, he's having problems walking straight, his head is, is tilted, his vision, his eyes aren't tracking right, I think he's intoxicated. And I didn't give him any alcohol, and I'm not going to be blamed for it. Okay, I understand, sir, but you I, you have to kind of be calm with me. It's, I'm not, well, so, I have nothing to do with your, it. No, listen, if someone from your staff is getting my dog drunk, or this dog drunk, that's the okay, last sir? thing. I'm not going to be calm at all, I'm going to freak out. Sir, what room are you even in? I'm scared to tell you at this point, the way that you're acting towards me. Sir, I can't send anybody up to even I don't want anyone up here. I want to figure out what's wrong with this dog. You got like charcoal shavings or something that I can put in its mouth or something to get it less drunk? No, sir, I don't have anything like that. How do you get a dog less drunk? I do not know, sir. Can't drink the black coffee, can't take a shower. Okay, sir, I don't, I don't know, and I don't know what's going on. I, I mean, I can have my, my front desk manager come out here and talk to you on the phone, but if I can't get a room number from you, I can't even send my manager up to it's even not, talk it's, to where, you. Where is it? Where is it in the room? Where is it in here? Where is what in the, the room? The number. It's not my room. I've been in here for an hour and a half. I don't know what fucking number it is. I don't remember. Okay, on, if you open the door on the outside of the door, the number I'm not number opening the door. There. The dog will get out. I can't do that. Then, sir, I can't have anybody come up to help you. I didn't ask I can... for help up here. I just want to know who's getting my dog drunk and why. I'm responsible for this animal, okay? Sir? I can't have someone up here getting the dog drunk. Okay, sir. I can... The only thing I can do at this point is maybe put my front desk manager on the phone, but that is, is that... the extent that I can do. Why? You can't even give alcohol to a dog. It's not safe. Sir, I don't... I don't know. I've never had to experience that before. So if you would like me to get my manager out here to talk to you, I can. But that would be the extent that I can do. What is it? Whiskey? Vodka? What is it? Sir, I don't know. I've never done that before. But if you'd like to speak with my front desk manager, I is can let one, you do that. Is that the one who's giving the dog the alcohol? Put him on the phone. No. Put him on the phone. Tell him to stop doing that. Put him on the phone. He's blaming us for getting a dog drunk in dog sitting. He won't give me the room number. He won't let me go up there. Hello, this is George, the front office manager. What can I do for you, sir? I'm freaking out. I'm here to dog sit, and now all of a sudden i got to deal with this nightmare. I'm in the bathroom for 10 minutes doing a little touch and rub, and and there's a commotion going on. It sounded like the door had opened and shut. I think someone from housekeeping, housekeeping came in here and got this dog drunk, and I'm responsible for this animal. So, sir, when did this happen? About f- four, ten, five, ten minutes ago. Okay, um, th- there's no reason for housekeeping to enter any occupied God, room well, unless I it is requested. I agree with you on that. They shouldn't be coming in here just because I'm on the crapper getting the dog drunk. That's not safe. You can't give a dr- fucking alcohol to a dog. That's insane. Sir, that is insane. It would be insane to think that any of our housekeepers would have the intention they to did. Who enter a random this room? room. This isn't my room, okay? I'm not staying here. I don't know this person whose room this is. Who is coming into the room and getting this dog drunk on my watch? There's no one in our, on our staff that would ever do that, sir. I can guarantee Pull the cameras. you that all... Pull the cameras. We don't have any cameras that are on the actual guest floor, Jesus sir. fucking Christ. So it's just free reign. Anyone can go around getting anyone else's guest dogs drunk, and you can't do anything to stop it. Is that what I you're mean, telling sir, me? I mean, sir, it's just this is such a strange thing that has happened. I've never heard of anything like this before in my life. It shouldn't it would be, happen. It should never it would be, happen. It would, it would be madness. It. it would be madness to think that a housekeeper would pick a random room with alcohol to enter to get a, a dog drunk. Why? Why did they do it? 
I don't think that they did, sir. I'm, I totally stand by my staff here, and I don't think that for any reason a random employee would enter into a random room to get a so dog you got, drunk. What do you got? You got a prowler? You got a prowler going into different rooms and getting dogs drunk? No, sir. I mean, no, no. I don't know anyone that would ever have the volition to do that. God. Okay, so you tell me. When the owner of this dog gets back and they say, is my dog drunk? What am I supposed to tell them? Okay. I am counting on the $7 from, from this dog sitting job. And if they don't give me the money, I'm going to be out. Okay. That's gas money in my car tank. Sir, which, which room are you in? I'm not telling you because your attitude is shit. I'm trying to help you, sir. As I'm trying to try get to, to the bottom no, of this. No, you're lying. You're trying to twist my words around and try and incriminate me of something that I've never even done. I never said that, sir. I never said that this would be your fault in any way. I'm not smoking up here. I don't even know why you bring that up. I didn't say smoking. I said I would I'm never. I'm not smoking. I said I'm I never not said smoking. That. I'm not I, I never said smoking that. in here. I'm not smoking I never smoking said in that, here. sir. I don't know why you're bringing it up. No, I don't I never know why you're said that, up. sir. No, see, you're trying to incriminate me on things like that. No, sir. What I'm trying to do is I can t I can take a look at the locks on the doors, see which keys were used on oh, the door. Oh, bullshit. You're lying to me now. You're lying again. Just like with the whole cigarettes thing. Cigarettes, sir. I never said anything about cigarettes. Yeah, you said I'm smoking up here. I, I did not. You must have misheard me. I had I'm no idea. I'm not smoking in here. I never said that, sir. Not even in the bathroom. I never said that. Good. So I'm trying to figure this out. If we can find out which room you're talking about, then we can pill. look on. I'm not telling you what goddamn room I'm in. Take a chill pill. Well, then there's no way for us to figure this out. I just want you to review. Your staff's procedures and their actions, maybe search through their pockets, see if someone has yeah. a flask or a small bottle of alcohol that they're using to poison dogs. The best way for us to take care of this, sir, is to look at the lock log. It's an electronic lock. We can You're look lying. at the log You're for the lock. No, it's just a little key card you put in there. It's just got little lights on it. Yeah, but that logs it into the system, sir. We I can totally see whose key keys were used. I don't even have a key card. But our, our housekeeping and every other staff member does. So if Bullshit. they were to enter the Don't room... Don't lie to me. Stop lying to me. Put sir, that first lady back on. She wasn't a dirty fucking liar like you are. Put that first lady back on. No, sir. I'm the front desk manager. I'm not okay, going to let you talk how, to my right. front desk staff in this manner. You tell me why she's more professional and smarter and less lying than you then. I'm not lying to you, sir. You I can you definitely are. find out. You're talking about, oh, there's so, the computer, right? So it knows everything on the door lock with the log computers. It's bullshit, dude. Don't give me that shit. It's the truth, sir. I'm telling you the exact truth. We can figure it out. If we find out which door it was, we can look at the no. log. It's, it's an accountability no. thing. It's a standard. No. No. Well, then there's nothing I can do, shut sir. Up. If you can't tell you me which up. room you it shut is. Shut the fuck up. I'm done with okay, you. Okay, goodbye. The nest. Hello? Hello? Hey, um, could you do me a favor? Hello. Um, how can this is the hotel? Can I help you? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I have to let one of my employees go. Um, I really don't want to do it. Could I? Could I bring him down there? And could you just let him know that we're letting him go? Uh, you must have the wrong number. This is the hotel. The front yeah. desk. This is the front desk. No, this is the owner. What can I do for you? Oh yeah, could yeah, just could you just let him know that we don't want him working anymore? Um, I just bring him down to you. Uh, I don't want, I really don't want to. I'm really uncomfortable. Right, have a good one. night. Sir. Thank you for calling the Hampton Inn of Rapid City. You are being transferred to Operator. Why not get started? Hi, it's the Hampton Inn of Rapid City. This is Sierra. Sierra, speak up, please. You sound like a mouse. How do I? Oh, that's much better. Thank you. Are you at the front desk? Yeah. Okay. Um, I Can you do me a huge favor? I'm up in the room. Um, can you look out in my car and see if my dog's there? I drive the Pontiac. I can't find him anywhere. Yeah. Are you looking? Okay, I have no idea which one's the Pontiac. But, um, a red John one. Comes to... Oh, oh, okay. Well, was it was my dog out there? Um, I didn't see it. Did okay. you want me to peek in the window? No, don't go fucking peeking in my car. What's the matter with you? I just asked hey, if my dog's down there. I don't need you peeking in my shit. 
trying to find my dog. Thanks for calling the Rushmore Hotel. How can I help you? Hey, listen, um, I'm having a really hard time here. Uh, I have to let one of my employees go. Um, would would it be possible? Uh, could you just bring him down to the front there and just could you let him know and then just you know escort him out? Um, are you on the premises? Yes. Okay. Uh, what's what's your name? Uh, I mean, I'll just bring him. Like, I'll I'll introduce you when I come down there, and just, I, I you know, um, I'm I just uncomfortable. I just let him know that he's got to go. Oh, so just basically tell him to leave. He no, he's he's fired. Okay, yeah. Um, so kind of just tell him that for you. Just yeah, just tell him. Just let him know that you know it's. It's yeah, it's just not working out. Yeah, no, I, I can do that. All right, thank you. I appreciate it. We'll be down in a minute. Yeah, so you just... um, um So you'll introduce him to me? Yep. Okay. His name is Carl. Kyle, okay. Do you, yeah. do you guys work here or do you work elsewhere? Are you having a meeting? Or... I just... I just... Well, yeah, um... Yeah, well, you know, he doesn't work here. It's just um, we, we have a bit of a history together. Um, oh. And, you know, it's going to be a long car ride home. Like, he's going to have to wait outside while, you know, like. Yeah, yeah, that's that's got to suck. Um, yeah, no, I, I so, can help you out with that. All right, yeah, just tell him to hit the bricks, so. All right. Yeah. I'll be down in a minute. Thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, of course. All right. Thanks. I love you. Yep. Bye. All right. Thank you for calling Best Western Rape Code Rapid City. Secure at the front desk. Can we help you? Secure? What was that? What's the name? This is the Best Western Ram Code of Rapid City. Did you say your name was Guillermo? Garrett. Oh, that was pretty close. Listen, um, <laughs> what's, we'll so funny, for you. what's funny about that? It was close. I don't see what's funny. <laughs> what can I do for you Stop today, Stop laughing at me, first of all. No problem. Okay, thank you. You got it out of your system? Yep, what can I do for you? Well, I'm having a problem. I'm having a problem with you guys. It's the same with all of you around here. At the, the room keeper and the, on the front desk when I checked in, you guys all have some type of a fucking attitude problem. Oh, okay. Uh, what At, what seems to what the with the room is that we no or no the, the room the room's nice the bed smells good even in the the part where the butts are you know like the butt part of the bed it smells decent it means you've been washing everything that's good you know there's no pubes nothing behind the toilet you guys did pretty good there I'm talking about the staff you guys are shit. Okay, what's your what's your room number, sir? I don't want to give that to you. Okay, well, I can't file a complaint if I don't have a room number. I'm not trying to file a complaint. I'd rather handle this a little differently. So okay. anyone on your staff who would be willing to engage in mutual combat with me? Well, yeah, no. I'd like to hit someone. I, yeah, we don't do that here. Well, it's legal. It's not. As long as all the participants agreed to it, you're allowed to brawl. Uh, not, this, not with our company. We do not allow. Well, I don't care about your. I don't give a shit about your policy. I only follow the law. I don't fuck. You know, I'll smoke a cigarette wherever the hell I want to. I don't follow policy. I only follow law. Mhm. Mm Hello. Who's that lady? Who's what lady? I heard her in the background over your shoulder. Does she want to fight? Nope. Is there anything else I can help you with tonight, sir? No. Okay. Thank you. Have a good night. All right. Bye. We're calling you in Ranavada Country and Suites, Rapid City, South Dakota. This is Jesse. How may I help you? This is a non-emergency line, correct? Uh, yes, it's a hotel. Okay, good, because this is not an emergency. I just have a small situation on my hands. It's not an emergency. Okay. I think I may have accidentally gotten this dog drunk. How do I deal with it? Hello? I'm sorry, what was that? I said I may have accidentally gotten a dog drunk up in the room, and I don't know what to do. I don't want it going crazy and pooping and Which peeing everywhere. In? What? Which room are you in? C can you offer me a little bit of advice first before you jump right to that? 
no, which one? Which room were you in? It's not my room. Gotcha. The- I gotcha. All right. See you later. Thank you for calling Hilton Garden in Rapid City. For reservation, you are being transferred to front desk. Thank you for calling Hilton Garden in Rapid City. How can I help you? Hi. Yeah. Um. Am I allowed at any point to like uh, have the employees get physical with me? Say it again. Employees to get to the what with you? To get like, kind of physical with me if I like. Uh, you know, start to act out or anything? I'm not sure what you're asking. Sorry about that. Do you have, like, a security, or do they, can employees themselves, like, kind of, you know, uh, get, get hands-on with me? As far as, as far as how? Well, like, I mean, being, like, if I'm being belligerent, then, you know... Well, if you're on property, we'll probably ask you ask you to leave. Yeah, <laughs> somebody would. I shouldn't say you. Somebody, yeah, if somebody is. Yeah. Oh we'll no, I mean leave. like not ask me, but I mean get hands on. Just oh, fully hands that on. Of, that kind of depends on the situation, I suppose. Never had to do that. Would you though? I don't know. It depends on all the situation. Would you personally? <laughs> I am, I am not a big man. I am a, a small individual but i tend to cause like a big trouble it just you could just throw me out oh <laughs> yeah i don't saying, know like, like, you just... like i say it's never it's never never come up and it's never been an issue so i never really think about it so would you throw That's me out I, it all depends could on you... the situation no would you though i mean just would you throw me out yeah just we tell you leave yeah no 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 throw me out no, if I came to that point, I'd probably just call the police and have them take you out. <laughs> Why? Just physically? Re- no, I mean, Nick, for you to no. physically remove me. Sure. No, honest question. Yeah, honest question, honest answer. <laughs> oh no! Like, why won't you just physically remove me? Like, I'm not. A, I'm no. not. I'm a small. I'm scrawny. I'm very skinny. I'm scrawny. Like, there's nothing to me. I'm a hundred pounds soaking wet. Oh no. <laughs> No, we won. You could oh, blow, like you could blow hard. You could just kind of do like a, like, a, like that, and you could just blow me like right out the door. Like you could, no. you could like destroy me. No, we. I don't think we'd ever do hands on, or I would never do hands on it. Could, I mean, I mean, no. It's like, like, what could could I though? Could I get, could I get you to get hands on with me? Like I just, you know, could just get a, just a little bit. Just get, no, just get a little rough with me. Just get a little rough with me. No, I'm all, I'm all I'm asking. No, no, I'm asking. Just, just, just the, you know, all I'm asking is just you get a little rough with me. That's all I want. Just to get a little bit, just a little bit roughed up. I don't want to go to okay. jail, or I don't want the police and all that. I, I just, I mean, just rough me up a little bit. That's all. Just rough me up a little bit. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Why? Just a little. I mean, just a little bit. No. I'll pay you. No. I'll pay you. I'll give you money. Cash no. money. Okay, well, I'm going to let you go here to help a guest, okay? Can, can they rough can me up? Me here? Ask them if they want to rough me up. The Post Hotel and Suites, can you hold, please? Is this an emergency line? Uh, No. Did you need an emergency line? No. What am I holding for, though? I can't. I don't have a lot of time. I have a complaint. What can I? Okay. What can I? What can I do for you? Can I give you a call right back? No. I want to lodge my complaint. It's been long enough already. I'm staying here right now. Okay. And everything is wonderful this time. It's. Uh, I didn't know the sheets could be so clean, and that's the problem. Is that I had stayed here maybe. I don't even remember. Like this, it was right before the whole pandemic. I had stayed here, and I at the time I thought everything was fine. But now that I'm here and I see how good it can be, I have a problem with my previous stay from last year here before. Even. Yeah, not a problem. I'd have to transfer you to the general manager for that. Okay. No, that's His another complaint. That's another complaint. Then I, he's not even going to be there. It's going to be his goddamn voicemail, and then that's a third complaint. So stop it, okay? Get your shit together. Come at me correct. Are you ready? Okay, what are you yeah, what room go, are you? Go ahead. In? 
Go ahead. No, I'm not telling you the room number. You got all those fucking phones going off. You think I'm going to tell you my room number while you got all those phones ringing in the background? What can I do for you, sir? I want a refund for this trip that I had at the end of 2019. Yes, we, if we wanted to go into the archives... And it's the archives. For a this is an archive day. job. we got to go into the archives. Give me my goddamn money back. I'm not able to give you your money back, sir. I'd have to go through Thomas for that. It's not something we'll be able to do tonight. Who the fuck is Thomas? The general manager. No, I don't want anything to do with Thomas. Let's keep okay. him out of this. Let me give you a call back, sir, okay? You want to give right, me your thank number? You. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Go ahead. No, you go. You go first, then I'll go. I don't want to be impolite. I've been rude enough with you. I'm sorry. You go first. Go ahead. No, I just, can I get a number and no, give you a I, call No, seriously, it's a la- this is a lady's first type of situation. You give yours, and then I'll give mine. I'm not, I can't give you my phone number, sir. How am I supposed to call you back then? You just called me at the clubhouse. And what's the number? The one you just called, sir. Yes, what is it? Do you not have it? Do you not know it? You are useless. You don't even know your own fucking phone number? Are you serious? You have a good night, sir. Fucking. Me, Russley. Governor's in Pier. This is Troy. Hello, Troy. My name is Mimi. How are you doing tonight, Troy? Good. That's fantastic. I'm glad to hear that you're doing well. Um, so I'm in one of the rooms. Uh, I'm not at liberty to tell you which because it's not my room. I am room sitting for another guest, uh, and they are having me be in the room, and they're having me hide in the room until they return from running some errands. You, uh, is that you understand? Okay. Yes. And I wanted someone to go up and down the halls just so that I could test my room guarding skills. Okay. Yes. I just need someone, like it can be you, it can be your coworker, it could even be some random guest uh, to just go up and down the hallways and stomp so that I can secure the perimeters of the room and make sure that all is I'm secure at and that I can. Right now. Oh, what about your coworkers? There's no one else here. Do you have, oh, you're all by yourself? Usually. Don't you get lonely? No. Can I help you with anything um, else? Oh, I just, well, I had some questions about your loneliness in addition to how you could help and assist with my guest problems. Oh, come on. All right, well. Quality and appear. This is Randy. How may I help you? Okay, Randy, I'm up in the room. I am all alone up here, um, and I have a little bit of a problem. I can't find my room key. I think I may have dropped it outside or in, left it in my car, and I don't know what to do because I'm all alone. Where the hell is the remote control? Where, where you what, I don't know what to do in this, in this situation. Where did you put the fucking remote control? I don't understand what the problem is. I can't leave this room because if if I leave and then I don't find the key, I'm not going to be able to get back into my room and I won't know what to do. You just come down to the front desk and I'll make you a new key. No, I can't. I listen. I'm I'm all alone up here. All right. I'm scared. I don't know what to do in this situation. I don't even know what number or where to go. I can't come up there. I'm handicapped. I can't get up the steps. I don't mind. I'm not scared of it. I can't get up the steps. Sorry, what? I can't get up the steps. Okay, I'm all alone in here, okay? If I had someone to watch the room, I would be able to go look for my key out in the hall and in the common area and and in the car. Nobody's going to get into the room. You walk out to shut the door, it locks. I mean, I never leave the room unattended. If I'm going to the Walmarts, I get someone off of Craigslist to watch the room while I'm gone. Fucking room. Get the fuck out of this room. Get you just come here. down here and I give you a new key. Get the fuck out and of the this room. And the door is locked and nobody's no. going to get in the room. I'm not leaving. Get. This is my room now. I'm not leaving. Get the fuck out of this room. Old Fort Pym Hotel, this is Nicole. Nicole, listen. Um, At what point, like, during, like, um confrontation with uh, guests... Are like are the employees allowed to get like hands on at all with any of the guests? That would be a legal question, and 
is there an incident that happened here at the Fort Pier Motel? Well, what would, I mean, what would provoke, like, you know, what would be acceptable as, um, for an employee to get, you know, kind of hands on with a guest, like physical? Again, that's not something I can answer. That's a legal question. I mean, is there, I mean, like, is it allowed? Like, do you guys have a policy? Like, just what's, like, what's the standard policy, you know, just for like day to day operations? Is, is this something that happened at our motel? No, I mean, like, if I, you know, like, what, what would constitute, um, an employee to be able to, you know, if, if, get if, hands on. Sir, if, this did, if this didn't happen at our motel, I can't answer that. Well, it could. I mean, what, like, what, 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 what would I, like, me as a guest, yeah, what would I have to do? What would I have to do to get one of those employees, like, a bit more, like, to get them hands on? Who, who is this, anyway? How, no, I'm, you're not answering my question. Like, you're asking me questions. You're not answering my question. Hey, Mountain and Sweet. Shit, is this the manager? Um, nope, he's not in today. Are you in charge right now? Yep, a front desk. Okay, I don't know what the hell is going on. I'm up the way at the Quality Inn. They just hired me in, and I, I got a guest in here, and I think they're smoking crack. I don't know what to really? do. My, my GM won't pick up the phone. i just just hoping that there'd be a manager down there because I don't know what the fuck to do at this point. I'm about to just walk out of here, let him smoke the crack. Well, well, I just got my manager off the phone. If you want me to call him again? I mean, what would you do in this situation? Should I, like, kick in the door and, like, throw him out physical? This is, like, my first I night mean, alone. This is my first night alone. It's your first night? Yeah. And you tried calling your manager and everything? Yeah, no one's picking up in the chain, so I just started looking on the Google for hotels that are nearby. I thought maybe I could get some advice. Alrighty, hold on. Let me, I'll well, I don't want to break the law or nothing, but I don't think they can be in there smoking right. crack. I'm pretty sure I have the legal right to just kick in their door and, hey, and rough them up a little. Can you take the call really quick? Can you take the call on the phone real quick? Yes, please. Thank you. Let's... Jordan? Wait, are you still there? Yeah. Can you pick up the hotel phone? Oh, well, this guy just needs help. Um, something that a manager could help with. <laughs> and are you the only one there at the hotel right now? I'm the only one here. I'm about to walk off. I'm either going to go in there. You're and, about and, to and walk and off? I, I don't know what else to do. I can't have them in there smoking crack. I don't want to go to jail for that. I'm about to go in there and beat their ass. I understand, I understand. All right, just hold on. This guy's first night at the front desk. He says he wants to smoke his hat in room and doesn't know what to do. And they're saying he's not picking up. Yes, and Quality Inn. At Quality Inn, he just called me for advice. Because he's, he's alone. Yeah, yeah. And, and he needs advice. Okay, thank you. Alrighty, you're gonna get a call in like a few minutes. Okay, thank you. Alrighty, no problem. Bye. Bye. Here, Burger King, how may I help you? Oh my God, is this the manager? Yeah. All right, listen, I'm the manager of the McDonald's up up uh, 14 here. Um, I they just hired me in like a week ago. This is my first night by myself, and I'm losing control down here. I don't know what the hell's going on. I was hoping you had some advice. I got two of my employees out in the parking lot smoking weed, I think. Uh, one of them just left without clocking out. I got, I'm got, i all backed up. And they hit all the sauce, all the sauce for the nuggets. They hit them. I don't know what the hell to do. I got customers yelling at me. They want ranch. I don't have it. I called my GM. They won't pick up the phone. I don't know what the fuck to do. Yeah. God, I don't know. Our can CEO you, would tell us to close. <laughs> can, you, can you come up here for a second? I really, I just need a hand just for a minute, just to get shit back under control. I feel like I'm, I'm losing my, I'm losing my staff and I don't know what I'm going to do. So where are you at? I'm at McDonald's right up the way here. Where, this is a Burger King and Pier. Yeah, I'm at the McDonald's. McDonald's is closed. No, I'm in here. No, we're back open. No, you're not. Yes. Uh, that would explain why McDonald's didn't answer the phone. Burger King, this is Chris. How can I help you? 
Chris, uh, I'm coming through the McDonald's. Uh, do you guys want anything? I'm sorry, who's this? Who? Me? Yes. It's me. It's, it's Alex. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. I don't know anybody named Alex. I'm coming through, though. I'm coming through. I'm going through McDonald's first. Do you guys want anything? No, I'm good. You sure you're calling the right person? This is Burger King, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're next, but I'm going to go through McDonald's first. Do you want anything? Uh, no. Are you in Nebraska right now? I'm going to come through your drive through I'm going to go to McDonald's first, and I'm going to come over there. Okay. I guess I'm just... Do you want uh, anything from McDonald's? No, I'm good. I'm good. Just a little confused. Is anybody else? I mean... Well, I'm I'm going through the drive-throughs. I just figure like I could bring something. No, nah, we got plenty here. Everybody's already eaten their food for tonight, had their breaks, so I think everybody's good. I mean, you could eat it later. I mean, you don't have to eat it now. Yeah. Like, ugh, ugh. Food that sits around that long is just no good. Gets nasty and horrible. I mean, I I, I assume you have a refrigerator. I don't. Right, I mean, we do. You don't have to be like a savage and just like leave it in your car or something. I don't, whatever you're doing. Look, I was just trying to be nice. You're just being an asshole now. I don't know. No, I'm not trying to be an asshole. Yes, you are. What's going on? All right, sir. Well, like, uh, I don't want, I'm not going to leave my food sit out. Mm. Friday McDonald's. Hey, how you doing? I'm about to be coming down there to your drive-thru. Um, I was just wondering, do you guys want me... I'm going to uh, Starbucks first. Do you guys want me to pick you up anything? Oh, no, that's very kind of you. <laughs> I can get you, like, the little silly little ice with the, the ca caramels on it and the little uh, coconuts on top. Oh, uh, no, you're good. Is there anyone else down there? I'd like to talk, make sure. Because sometimes you get you get the girls and you give them a Starbucks, and then, you know, they, they'll go out, go out on a date or something, you know? No, they're fine. They're, yeah, they're fine. <laughs> well, Thanks. let me ask them. Let me ask them, though. Maybe they want a Starbucks. I'm not going to uh, put, if that's what you're thinking, I'm not going to put anything in it, if that's what you're thinking. No, it's just that, I mean, only managers can be on on the phone. Oh, well, will you, yeah. can you ask them? Will you ask them? And, and you can tell them I'm not going to put anything in it. Wait, give me a second. What? Just ask them. The parking thing transaction is approved. I don't know how to talk about it. And it's not approved. Yeah, well, thank you. I won't put anyway. any powders. I won't put any powders in the drink. This is going to be unadulterated, un un unmolested with. No, yeah, I understand. I'll well, bring you a coffee. To listen, take anything listen, from outside. listen. I'm going to bring you a coffee. I'm not going to put anything weird in it, okay? Okay. Thank you. All right, thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> McDonald's, this is Deanna. Deanna? Yeah. Yes. Hey, uh, how does the parking, uh, not the parking, the drive through like, how does that one work at that location? Oh, so, like, um, how do you get into the drive? Like, how does it, like, how, how do you go around it? Oh, so... Like, like, how does it go? So, there's, like, the two mini lanes, and then they just kind of merge into one. It's on the right side of the building. Um, are you in drive trying to figure out how to go around it? or? Wait, uh, how does it, like, go, though? Like, how does it... Like, the cars move forward? Like, well, how do you make it go? Um, like, I'm sorry, I'm confused. Are you asking... Yeah, me? just... Oh, how, how do you just make it go? Are you in drive? Like, when you... When you're when you're driving and you're driving with the car and you go trying to make it go, like how do you, like how do you make it go? It just uh, that's just usually up to us. So you just pull up and drive, and then our goal is to get as many of the cars through. There's the cars. Time. Yeah. But there's cars. Yeah. Yeah. How do you make it go? They just go. Um. They just but go. They, but they, they don't. Well, right they now don't, it doesn't. It doesn't right go. It's supposed to be going faster. I'm. The person just kind of stops at the window and then takes it. No, how does? I mean, how does it just go though? I just. Are you talking uh, about like the people, the cars, the orders, like? It gets just stopped. I I want it to, you know to make it go. Yeah. I, I, yeah. 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 I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. 
it's my bad. Um, the oh. it's just basically like the system. So we just get them through drive, and then we try and get them to pull forward and just, you know. Are you in drive right now, or are you just wondering in general? Is it because I have an iPhone? No, that shouldn't be an issue. It's just I'm not. Do I need the a, Do I need the Android, the Android phone? I'm no. not, I'm confused. I'm sorry. I am. Too, are you talking about the like an app, like how to mobile order drive through, or? No, just the drive through. The to regular like when you pull in with your car. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it doesn't go. Like, yeah, it doesn't go. So yeah, you would just pull in with your car, and then we would take your order, and then you would just like just keep driving through drive through. But, but it doesn't. Would... It doesn't. What doesn't? It as in the car, the people. It doesn't go. Okay, you put the thing. You put the car, and you try to order, and it just doesn't go. Hmm. Um, I wish I could help you more. I'm trying to describe it the best I can. Like, do you go around? Yeah, so it's on the side of the building, and it's just like a lane, like a regular lane that you would go through, and you just... Is it, is it like down. windows, like, should I put the windows up or the windows down? Um, you can keep them up or down. When you get to the first window, though, to pay, you would roll it down, and then they would tell you what you, uh, double check what you ordered, and then they'd take the money from you, and then they'd... No, all down. the windows, like, all the windows. That's up to you. What, what do you mean? No, I want... No, I, what What am I supposed to do? So you would come through drive. Um, on the right side, there's uh, little lanes that it says drive-thru, and it shows you how to go up to the drive-thru. Um, and then you'd pull in through drive-thru, and then um, there's going to be, like, a little monitor box on your left along with the menu. And then they'd be like, hi, welcome, how can I help you? Um, and then you would take your order, or you would just be like, um, this is what I want. Like, so, for example, can I get two McDoubles? And then they'd be like, yeah, sure, is that everything? And then you'd be like, yeah. And then they'd be like, all right, pull on up to the first window. And then you go to the first window, and you'd be like, all right, here's, you know, how I'm paying, cash or card, whatever. And then they'd be like, all right, sweet, here's your change slash receipt. And you'd be like, sweet. And then they'd be like, all right, go and pull forward to the second window, and we'll have your food, we'll give you your food there. And then you'd go on to the second window, and then they'd be like, all right, this was your order, right? And then you'd be like, yep. And then they gave you your food. Um, or they'd have to park you, and then you just kind of wrap around back to the start, but then you just kind of, like, do a U-turn, and then you can, like, head out in any direction you need. Did that answer your question? <laughs> well, I mean, I can understand. Like, most of it sounds pretty normal, um, mm-hmm. but, like, when you when you pull up with the car, like, it mm-hmm. just doesn't... I, I don't know if I got to hit a button. Is there, oh, like, no, a button? You I get, just pull up. There's, like, um, sensors on the concrete that that makes sense i'm I, sorry yeah that was my bad so there's sensors on the concrete oh, so when you pull up it yeah i pull ears. up yeah so you pull up to the just... little monitor thing and it dings in our ear to let us let us know that someone's in drive through and then that lets us know oh hey we got to take their order that's what i'm trying to see you know how do i make it ding uh, uh, see I, i'm not I, i'm not making it go see i knew i wasn't making something go I yeah guess... you don't you don't push anything when well, you just drive up and drive it's just like a sensor it's no, I push it with the car. Well, the I, car. I wasn't. Sir. No, I. What? No, I. It's. It, I didn't make it go. I see. I. Well, now I understand. Yeah, you wouldn't hear I, the ding. Um, only we. Oh no! I got. I. I didn't know I had to push the car. Like, cause the car. I can make the car. It, it pushes the box. You said you push the car with the box, right? Uh, uh you just drive in through drive through up to a box so there'll be like a monitor box on the left with a speaker and then when you drive on up next to the speaker there's a sensor yeah, on the I, concrete I'm, and that... I'm pushing on it like i was just i'm pushing on it I, I, with the with the car like you use the car and you push on it as of like right now well that's how you make it go i like guess how you make the bell ring in your ear or something uh it's just the sensors on the ground it like monitors the area and then when someone's in that area, that's when it. No, it I'm pushing on it. You don't have to do I'm, anything. The box. You said the the box. The mat. The you said the monitor box. Oh uh, yeah, the box is just the monitor. So literally. Yeah, I'm pushing um, on it. I'm pushing on it. And it's, it's a weight thing. And so when we like, oh yeah, there's someone. You don't have to push or do anything. You just drive on up, and then we'll greet you. That's what I'm doing. I'm using the weight of the vehicle to 
push on the on the monitor. Yes. That's okay, I'll just push. No, no, under the screen. I just push it. Um, you shouldn't have to push anything if you. No, I'll use my car. Yes. And with the bumper. Mhm. I'll just push it. Are you talking about like pushing a car, like if a car got stuck in drive? No, I mean I'm gonna take the car and I'll just take the car and I'll push the screen with my car. Um. Well, probably should. That's how you. Well, you said I don't. You're confusing me because you said I gotta push the, I gotta, I gotta push down the monitor to make the light the light go off in your oh, ear. No, no, no. So I'm the sorry. belt. So the. That was my bad. That was uh, poorly worded. Um, when I say push the car, I mean like um, when you drive up with the car, the gravity, you know, like central regular gravity, it like rolls over sensors on built into the concrete. So um, when you get up in drive through, you just drive over, you know, just drive up to the box on the side, which, um, and the menu, you just drive up to the menu, and then the sensors on the ground, like, pick up the weight of the car. I have to push the car through the drive, I thought I could, wait a minute, is it like a car wash where you just put it in neutral? Yes, that's Is that, that's is that why, why it's not working? Why is or isn't it working? No, if I, I, I see, I, I didn't understand. Like I, I pulled up to the thing, and I left it in drive. I, I didn't know I was supposed to put the car in neutral. Now, you, you can know. do either or. Actually, that's up to you. You can put it in drive and put it in neutral, but you just kind of drive on up, and then we'll greet you, and then you drive on up again to the next window. You know, you. What do you? No, no, I'll put it in neutral. I'll just put it in neutral, and it'll pull me. That should be fine too. Yeah. No, you, because you said it's gonna push. Like it'll push the car? Um, I mean, I don't think you have to, like, push anything. No, I'm not. No, you said you're going to push my car. Oh. Like yeah. at an amusement park? Like where you push it? Like where somebody comes and pushes it? Oh, yeah. No, that's not what I meant. I'm sorry. That was bad choice of words. What do you mean? No, you said you're going to. Well, how do I. Yeah, How do I do this? Explain it simpler. I'm sorry. No, you said you're gonna push the car. Um, I I might have said that, and what I meant was I think I meant something different. Um, we don't actually touch your car or anything like that. Um, the only thing. Oh no, you can drive it. I, do I just? I can come around again, and you can. I'll call you, and you can. You go. I mean, if you want to show me, you can. You know if you how, how I. Through- if you want to come through drive, yeah, I'll talk to you and show you and stuff like that. No, just drive, just drive the car through it. I'm not good with the drive. Just drive the car through the drive through through me. Just drive it through. You could do that, or you can come in. Either way works. I think. No, I don't. I, I think it'd be easier if you could just drive my car through the drive through. Um, I'm not sure if I'm legally allowed to do that. <laughs> I'll give you um, no. I'll give you permission. Well, I'm not sure if my boss would. <laughs> Why? No, it's my car. It's not your boss. It's my car, not your boss's. I, I know, I know. I don't, I'm, but I'm on the clock, and so I don't think... You're so, no, you could... How? You gotta help me through the drive-thru. I, I'll help you through the drive-thru any way I can. I just not sure, like, don't any other how, way I can. I, so, uh, like, if you pulled you, up to the drive-thru, I could totally, like, direct you and help you with the menu. I could even come, like, out in person and stuff like that. Um, but I'm not sure if I could necessarily, like take your car for you <laughs> through drive. Oh, no, don't take it. I mean, just drive it. Well, yeah, that's the uh, same difference. Just drive, yeah. Or you could, you want, I mean, I don't know, yeah. is it like a conveyor belt? I don't even know, understand how this works anymore. That, like, that's this kind is... of how it works. So it's like a bunch of other cars and you all line up in a line and then you, you know, just drive your car through the little line. You have cars in front of you and cars behind you. Wait. And then, yeah. Wh- like, around, like around me? Yeah, um, not surrounding you, but like in front of you, because, you know, multiple people come through the drive. So you'll have like a car in front of you, and then there'll be you, and then you might Are have like parked? a car behind you. How do you... How do you how do you? You're gonna have to start over. Like, this is getting way too complicated. I I don't. I'm, I'm so supposed sorry. to just. I'm more of a visual. Like, if I could show you, like, if I could take a picture and I could show you how it works, I would gladly do it. I'm not the best at describing things. I'm sorry. Um, 
but it keeps trying to describe a like a, a, I envisioned a, like a circle, and this is more like a rectangle. Like I'm not. It's, it's like a straight line. So it's a straight line, and then you have like a car in front of you, you, and a car behind you, and you just kind of it's a one straight line in um, parallel to the building, up upside it, you know, to the side of the building, and you just. But it goes just, around. Um, some of them do. Some go around the building. Ours, you just kind of go up beside it. And then once you're finished, you just kind of turn around and not through the drive, but you turn around um, in our little parking lot and then leave. Does Wait. that make more sense? Well, I would just put it in reverse. I mean, I don't, I, why wouldn't I just go backwards? Because uh, there might be cars behind you and you might hit them. See, why is there cars behind me? See, you're not making, like, this isn't. Because uh, multiple people come to McDonald's today, so people will be behind you. Uh, trying to order, and so if you go backwards, you know you might hit them. So you'll have to just go forward. It's a drive through. How, so you just drive through forward. How do you make it go with all these cars? Um, it's just a, like a process. So we just take one car at a time, and then we just kind of have them all just go forward, um, and then just get all their orders, you know, in line and stuff like that. Huh. Yeah. Did that answer any of your questions? I'm sorry. I'm not the best at this. I'm trying. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to make it go. Yeah. Did that give you a little um, bit more of an idea of how it goes? I, I'm i not really... I, you're talking about, like, other people's cars and stuff? Like, I don't... Well, you don't have to worry about them, but they will be either in front of you or behind you. But this you sounds like this could take a long them. time. Is there, like, a place for bathroom time, like, um, during this? Not in this? drive, but if you, like, wanted to come inside the store to use the restroom, yeah. But... How do I? No, I mean, like, if I got it, you know, like during, because this sounds like this is gonna take some time. Um, it's it's not supposed to take time. We it's fast food, so we try and get them out in and out as fast as we can. Um, so if you needed to, um, is there like a like a garbage can I can I can put the bottle in when I'm done? Um, For, kind of visualize you know the bathroom, the bathroom like a bathroom bottle. Um, yeah, if you needed, I'm, do you mean, like, just for, like, the trash and stuff like that? There's a like, trash can outside? I mean, I could just give it to you at the window. Like, a, just a trash can? Well, it's, like, a, a, a bottle a full of liquid. Um, yeah, you could do that. I think there's also um, ones outside as well. Outside? Oh, no, I don't want to do that outside. I'm doing it in my car. Mm, okay. Well, no, because want- it sounds, I, I don't... You know, because this is could, this is could, this is getting complicated. Yeah, this could I take know. some I'm time. Sorry. If you want to come through and come to drive, then you can totally like come, and we can help you to our best abilities. If that sounds good. Well, no, it sounds great, but I just want to make sure I can like drop off the bottle. We'll we'll um, do our best to make sure that you can get everything that you need. No, and no, to your I- satisfaction. No, I'm satisfied. It's just I'm trying to like dump off the bot the, the bathroom bottle. Oh, I see. Um, we can't necessarily do that for drive. Like, like I said, we I do don't. Have, like, we if you could dump it down the drain, or do you want me to just throw it like just straight in the garbage can like that? Probably in the garbage can. If you're talking about like human waste, um, we do have yes. like a it's restroom, y- urine. We have parking spots to come park as well. I mean. Um, and like I urine, said, ma'am, take long. ma'am, 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 U- urine. Yes, yes. A bottle of urine. Yes, we have restrooms. <laughs> oh, no, this is for the drive through Well, you can use the restrooms before drive or after drive. How do you mean? Like, I have to come into the store, leave I mean, the store, go through the drive through That doesn't make any sense. Why wouldn't I just use the drive through and just use the bottle method? I mean, if you felt like it or you can go beforehand um we legally i don't think can take that um you could go in the bushes if you're waiting legally oh no but you you take the like i mean i go inside and get, I drop it off like i don't you can go inside and go potty and then you could also order inside if you wanted to while you're there that way you would skip the line in drive period because <laughs> like you can order in the store or you can order through drive through there's different oh okay i can come inside i can use the bathroom and then i can order and then then i can go i can go through the drive i can go drive around and pick it up is that how that works uh so when you come in the store so you can go bathroom right and then you can come 
and you can order, and then we just hand it to you then and there. So then you... you I'm not in my car, though. No, you'd be just standing in the restaurant. Oh, no, but I'm not in my car. I want the food in my car. Well, you could take it back to your car as soon as possible. Oh, but no, I would just take... Like, I could just drive around. Like, you have that window on that side of the building there. Yeah. And I could just I could just load up through the side of the window. Like, then, I, then I'd just be in the car. I wouldn't have to walk it to the car. Well, there are spots that are pretty close to the door, if that helps. <laughs> what? No, but I would, I'd have to walk to the car. I might drop, you know, I could drop something or you know, this way. Handles. If you're worried about that, we have uh, big bags. We can hold a lot of food with handles. Um, I know, but what if I drop it? We can replace it for you. What? No, that wouldn't be right. Like, I dropped it on the ground. If I drop a bag on the ground, I'm like, well, shit, you know, I can't do anything with this. And I got to start all yeah. over. For, I got to go through the drive through again. Well, you could drop it and drive too but like um we would replace it for you if you wait no because i have a very short from the window to the car i have like a foot span that's the most dangerous part is just that little one foot span and mm -hmm. if i once i get it in, into the car window it's safe but i i you know yeah and like i said if you wanted to come um come to drive then come, come to drive come in either way works come yeah um, come like said, yeah we can deal with the situation as it comes. Okay. Um, yeah, I just would, I, I think I'd be better off if I could just order it, you know, while I use the bathroom and I'll just come around and I'll pick it up. I think that's just for the best, the best way it works uh, Okay. for everybody. Okay. All right. Have a good day. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for listening. Oh, love, okay. I love you too. <laughs> love you too. Bye. Bye. That girl was an angel. Jesus Christ, man. Mark McDonald. Hey, how you doing? I had a question. Yes? Yeah. Would I be able to come inside and place an order at the counter and then pick it up at the drive through window for COVID safety? in the lobby and order and or yeah I, I think that'd be best yeah for with the mask and everything to order inside but then just to pick it up at the window yeah I guess you could do that okay good well because see because I'm thinking that what if when I'm waiting in line when I'm in the drive-thru where where is the bathroom for the drive-thru I'm sorry. Where's the the bathroom for the drive-thru? If I'm going through the drive-thru and I have to go to use the potty, where do I go? We don't have a bathroom available. Oh, my God. So what, I'm just supposed to piss my pants? <laughs> Hang up the phone. You're crazy. McDonald's. Oh my god, listen, I come down there, I go through the drive-thru, I come inside, you guys are always fucking up my order. Um, at what point am I allowed to get physical with you guys down there? I don't think you're going to learn your lesson otherwise. Sir, I am not going to take your call if you don't calm down. Okay, I'll try and so calm down. So we can down, talk but... about this. Okay. But if you mention, if I feel harassed in any way, I well, will no, hang no, up on you. I, I was and I will draw down your name, and I will tell my general manager to not serve you. What? That seems a little accusing, extreme. Because you're accusing me, you're saying that you're going to come get physical with people. So that uh, is harassment. No, I was asking if I would be allowed to, if there's anyone down there that wants to scrap or that something. That is not correct. That is not what you said. I said, can I come down? At what point would it be appropriate for me to get physical is what I said. Okay, can I get down your name, please? No, because then you're not going to serve me the Big Macs. I will have my general manager deal with this because I personally do not feel comfortable. Can I punch with somebody him? saying. May I punch your general manager, please? Sir, I am not going to take this call. Why? I'm asking politely. What's? Have a good I, day. You can call later when you're more calm. Thank you. I'm very calm. I just want to... Hey, I got a question for you. Um, I'm not 
100% satisfied with this big rack I got. It was kind of off center and there's a bunch of spilled out. Is there anyone that you got on staff who'd be willing to come out there and meet me in the parking lot so we can settle it old school? No, we don't do that here. Well, I, I don't want to make go through all the hassle of making you guys, you know, make a new sandwich and all that. But I, I'd rather if, if I could have some type of a resolution to this, preferably physical, if anyone's willing. Yeah, we don't do fights around here. Well, I, I'm not like a fight, more like a... <laughs> McDonald's, how can I help you? Hey, I come through the drive-thru maybe 10 minutes ago. Um, I, I had dropped my wallet inside the drive-thru window. Inside the drive-thru window? Yeah, it went up and over. It went right in. Yeah, uh, which window was it? The first or the second? When you're paying, it's the first one. You dropped a wallet in the building? Yeah, it went up and over, right in the window. Okay, uh, give me just a second. I just got to come down and get it. I got all my like library cards and things in there. Yeah, um... No, please don't go through it, though. Please don't go through it. I won't. Just let me there's find it. Uh, there's drugs in it. I don't want you to be responsible. No, you're good. Just let me see if it's back here. Okay? It's cocaine. Thank you. Okay, so my crew members are saying that um, there wasn't a wallet that came to the window, and I'm not seeing it outside. What? No, it went in the window. It went up and over. Like, I, I had... It slipped, and it go, went up, like, a, like, when it's, you know, like a wet... Like a wet b rubber ball. It went slipped and went up and over and in and in inside the window. I heard it hit the floor. But at the time, I didn't think anything of it. It wasn't until I got home. About your wallet coming through the window? Yeah. I need it. Am I, I got, um, there's some business cards in there with some uh, customer contact information I need for work. And my library card is in there and I can't rent uh, library books without it. Okay, I'm not, I'm not that worried about the cash. Like, if whoever stole it, because uh, I'm thinking one of you guys probably took it. Okay, I'm not seeing it on the floor. My Can you, who, are you the manager? I am a manager. Can you yeah. search the employees down, see if anyone's got two wallets? Um, I can't strip my employees. With I didn't say strip. No, no, yeah, no, 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 just pat them down. Just pat them down normal. Yeah, I can't really do that. That's. I could get in a lot of trouble for that. I can definitely check the crew room and the lockers and see if maybe one of them stuck it in there. What does it look like? It's got a wallet on it. Okay, what does the wallet look like? It's it's with uh like made out of the material like that, and it folds in half to put money and cards into. And my library card is in it. it. Wallet colored, just regular wallet color. Okay, so there's lots of different colors for a wallet. What? No, yeah, just regular though. It's not like purple or pink or anything like that. It's just regular know, wallet it's color. Like black or brown? Just regular. Just nothing special. It's just a regular color. Just plain wallet. Is it a trifold or a double fold? I don't know what that means. Um, so does it fold out into three parts or is it just a one that folds in half? It's just a wallet. I don't know how it would fold. What do you mean fold? When you open your wallet. To put the money in it. Yeah, you open it up to put the money in the in the uh, cards in it. Okay, I'm not seeing a wallet anywhere in the crew room. Let me check the manager's office and see if one of them stuck it in the manager's Who's that man there? Can I talk to him? Maybe he has my wallet. Um, I can't allow you to speak to my crew members. I'm sorry. Why? Because I could get into a lot of trouble for that. Why? They're not trying to speak to customers. No, you're trying to hide something from me, I feel like. Okay, um, if you have a problem, you can call corporate or you can call back tomorrow and talk to our GM. But Let me ask you this. Okay, I'm not allowed to... Listen, listen, hold on. I'm not no, allowed to talk to your crew. Am I allowed to fight them? Can I fight them out in the parking lot? No. Okay, then I won't. Okay, um, I can have... If you want to call back tomorrow, my GM can check the cameras for you. Oh, good. What time are they in? Are they in the morning? Um, yeah, let me look at the schedule real quick. I believe that she's in at 10. Oh, I can she hold. Layla. Yeah, I can hold. That's not a problem. I got unlimited until, minutes. Until 10 in the morning? Yeah. Okay, yeah, um... I'll just put you on mute until she gets here then. Thank you. Yeah. Love you too. For McDonald's, this is Karen. How may I help you? Hey, did my dog get out of my car when I was going through the drive through down there? Uh. I had him when I was going through the last time because he was leaning out from the back when I was doing the pay. Let me, let me go check is, outside. Did, did, he, did he jump in at all? Is he in the store there? Not in the store. Okay. Um, let me check the parking lot real fast, just in case. I got it. Okay. I mean, I don't know. What color? Just regular dog color, like brown or whatever. Nothing fancy. Have you seen a dog? Like, 
not by itself without an owner. Yeah, no. Yeah, nobody, nobody's seen a dog. Eh, all right, whatever. Well, he's not in my car anymore. Um, Oof. if he turns up, just I, I don't know. Do whatever. Get rid of him. I'm, I don't care anymore if he's gonna act like this. Uh, all right. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Love you. Junction City McDonald's. Hey, um, I had come down there to do the drive-through order. Okay. Um, and I had to, I had to eventually. I just turned around and went home. I couldn't get it to go. I was wondering, is there a way you could give me like a quick little walkthrough or something on what I did wrong? Was it mobile? What do you, what do you mean? I'm so sorry. What, what oh, is exactly so, what you're talking about? Oh, I came down. I wanted to do a drive-through order. I was going to get one of them, uh, big, Biggie Max or whatever. Okay. And I couldn't get it to go. No, nothing would go. I don't know if I did something wrong to start it or if I had initiated it wrong or something. Do you have to press a button or? I'm not going to lie to you. I don't exactly know what you're talking about. To do the drive through How do you make it go? I couldn't get it to go at all. What do you mean by that? To make an order and everything. To go. I wanted a Big Mac. So in the drive-thru? Yeah. But that's not my job. How does it go like that? Uh, like you go to the job, you know when you go to the, the car wash and it, you drive up on the thing and it catches your tire? Okay. It's different. There's a, a sensor. Okay. What is it sensor? The weight of the car. Like from like shit and fuck and stuff? I don't understand what you're censoring. I'm gonna let you talk to my manager. Like what? Wait, what needs to be censored though? I'm not trying to be profane with you. No, and I understand that. It's not that kind of censor. Okay. So the censor you're thinking of is censoring. So for like more uh, like nudity. Or, like nudity. Or, or pictures. A censor, saying, it's sensing no, the weight of the car. For nudity? Or content like that? Like a content? Not C-E-N-S-O-R. Uh-huh. S-E-N-S-O-R. Oh, like a senior. Sure. Do they get the coffee, don't they? You do the senior's coffee? Right? Am I wrong? Do you not do the senior coffee there? We do a senior coffee, That's yes. what I... Okay, and that's what you mean then. No. I'm lost. This is why I called ahead. I can't figure it out at all. And I tried to look on the website, and there's nothing but, like, there's just a bunch of people eating on it. It's telling me all these numbers about ingredients and calories and shit, and I don't care about that. Okay. So, what do I, what's, like, what's the first step? To going through the drive through Yeah. So when you drive through the drive-thru, you drive to the speaker. Who? Who's the speaker? Is it someone famous? Hello? No. Okay. Normally if someone's having a, a speaker in an event, they'll be, you know, noteworthy. A celebrity or, or an author or something, they'll have speaking at the event, but okay, whatever. So I'll greet the speaker and then what? You'll place your order. Oh, well, that's easy. And then what? They'll tell you the total of your order. You'll drive uh -huh. to the second window or the okay. first window. I apologize. Second, win You'll second window, the second window first. No. I do apologize. I didn't in intentionally say that. Well, okay. Drive but to the you, first window. You said first it. First drive-through window. You can't unring a bell, so. You're absolutely right. I can't. But okay, I can't so apologize. So I'll go. Okay, so I'll go to the second window then. And I'll pay. Do I pay at this? Can I pay at the second window if I want to? You pay at the first window. Uh, can I? I'll just go to. The, I'll just pay it all at the second window. That's the same with okay. you. Thank you. I'll tip you a $5 bill. Thank you. 
I appreciate you. What was your name? Chuck? Charles? Charlie? Neither. George? Mark? I do apologize. I am quite busy. I will John? bid you farewell. Thank you.